Hi, welcome to Simply Scrapping. And it's time for Mixed Media Mayhem. And our parameters this month are black, blue, and gold. Really, really simple. So that lends itself to all sorts of different mediums and ways of doing mixed media. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about my photos. These are my cherubs, or just a few of my cherubs. I went through a stage um, where I loved cherubs, everything had to have cherubs and it must have been popular at the time as well because there was lots of these little figurines, shelf sitters and stuff like that that were cherubs. So my whole um, formal dining room and lounge room when I first got married was all cherubs and this one actually is holding a couple of dried flowers from the um, casket arrangements we had for my in-laws for my um, mother-in-law and father-in-law. So I hung them up under our stairs at the time and they um, dried really lovely. So I poked them in this chair of his holding these roses. So that is what I'm doing, these cherubs. Now my, gosh, now I can't move them. My black is going to be stenciling on the background, which is probably gonna come out gray but I'm using a Vicky Booten stencil and I'm going to do it in Memento ink. Now, I've never stenciled with Memento black ink before, but I don't envision, envision it being different from any other type of ink stenciling with. My blue is my accent, so my blue paper to start with. And then I have just stamped a heap of roses, which are from the To A Wild Rose stamp set by Stampin' Up. It's well and truly retired, but I love this stamp set. So I've got some blue roses. Obviously it needed um, leaves as well from the same, same stamp set. And then I've just got some blue doilies. So that's my blue. And yes, they are different blues, but that's not gonna worry me. And then my gold is going to be a huge container of gold leaf. Now this came in years ago, um, probably a container this size. Sorry, so this is um, like a texture paste container and it came in a container that size and I decided, well, let's just tip it out into something bigger. And this was an old lollies container, you know, those sour strips. Anyway, the fantasy built things. Anyway, so I tipped them all in here to make it easier to use. And then I hardly ever used them. And you can see the dust on top of this container. Oh my gosh, that is embarrassing. They've been sitting on a shelf <laughs> and I keep meaning to use them. But I don't find them that easy to use because Sam and I also bought out um, the heat and stick powder, whatever it was called. And it's like embossing powder. And you put it on, you heat it up, and then this, this gold foil sticks to it. Um, I have a jar of that, but I can't find it, but it also sticks to glue. So you could use like double-sided tape and have strips of it, or I'm going to use my liquid glue, but I'm going to, um, spread it out with a paintbrush and then attach the gold flakes to it. Fingers crossed that works. I haven't tested it. So in theory that works. I've also got metallic enamel, enamel dots in gold. If I remember to put them on at the end. And my title is going to be gold glitter glitters as well. All right, so, um, oh, and my flowers were stamped in granny apple green for the leaves, balmy blue and night of navy for the flowers. So with all that now out of the way, let's get cracking. And it's going to be quite simple with the embellishments, just some um, flowers, leaves, and that's about it. And the gold boiling, pretty simple. Now, if I could get this out, Arr. come on, why don't you want to come out the packet? All right, is there a trick or what? There you go, right, so. My photos are going here, 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 my title's here. So I'm just going to do this around the edges. Well, that's the idea anyway. Brand new sponge dauber. So it might take me a little bit to get the ink on there. Enough. 
And then let's see what I can do. Yes, Christopher. What's for dinner tonight? Chicken stir fry. Oh, okay. Did you see the two different chicken jars? I got uh, yeah. one butter chicken from Canton, which I don't think we've tried before. Yeah, I think we have. I don't like it. Uh, but anyway. I don't think we have. Anyway. Um, And also slow cooked chicken curry. Oh, was that a slow cook? I didn't say it was I a slow I think it was cook. a slow cooked chicken okay. curry. Shit. That's all right. I'm filming, so you can tell me later. Okay, this is turning out better than I expected. Sorry, I just had to mute you again. <laughs> My son came in again. <laughs> oh dear. Don't see him for hours in his room playing games and then when I start filming, someone's going to come in and want to ask me something really important like, what's for dinner, Mum? <laughs> oh dear. Right, um, this is not lining up because I must have had something crooked. But anyway, let's see how it goes. Alright, so now I've got double there, but hopefully the heading will cover that. So there's my stenciling. Now yeah, I'm going to bring my photos back and see if I think I've got it enough of it. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Oh, look at that. Wow. I do have a gap in the middle, so I'm going to have to put some down there. Where was it? Oh, somewhere down here. I'll just do down there. Okay. Oh, look at that. And now I've got a gap here. I should have just covered the whole thing, shouldn't I? I'm probably being too fussy. Right. So now... Before I stick anything down, I'm going to try the uh, gold, putting gold on these flowers. Don't need the doilies. Like, I haven't tried this. I don't know if it's going to work. And I have more flowers here than I need. But I'll foil them all anyway, because then they're done. And um, I can put them in my color box my blue box and then when I want them for another layout or I'm looking for 
something to put on another layout, then I'll have them. Now I've got to work out where I want to put the gold. I just want to squiggle around. Um, what am I doing? I'm spreading it with this one. Yeah, let's see. Don't use this um, foiling with a fan on. Ask me how I know that. Don't know at all. I've got to try and remember where I put the um, glue now. Is it over here somewhere? So I'm doing it a mile away from me. So how about I do it down here where I can get the light on it and I can see where the where I put the glue, hey. So I want to change the glue actually. I don't want it so lumpy. That looks silly. Right, so we're going to refine it as we go. We want like streaks of gold, I think. What's I picking on? And I don't know whether the glue should be dried a bit before I try and put this on or whether trial and error. Well, as long as I have some glue on there. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so much of this gold. I don't need all that. We'll fire out. That's a lot. So I'm going to end up now with it all over me. Yeah, okay. Let's try this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing over here. And I might actually smear it. If you've used these gold plate, this gold flaking before, let me know. But I think I'm gonna have to put the whoops, don't you come over here. Put the glue on, smear it with my finger a little bit, and then just use my fingers to um attach the gold, maybe. Attempt three. We'll see what happens, hey? Why is there a hair in there? Oh, look at that. I don't want a hair in there. Sounds like a play school thing, doesn't it? There's a hair in there. <laughs> That's better. But now I've got gold flake absolutely everywhere. I probably need to do it over the container. You're learning with me. It's sort of a bit better. Not quite what I was going for, but I'm going to have... Oh my gosh, gold flake everywhere. Let's just do this. Dunk it in. Maybe that's where I could use a brush to wipe it off with rather than my fingers. We have a better idea. That's sort of what I want. Right, we're getting there. Oh my goodness. What a mess. <laughs> I'm not big into multi multimedia. Here I go again. Mixed media. Because of the messiness of it. Like, I don't know, just not, not a messy crafter. But I do like how it looks, so, dunk. Oh, maybe this, wipe it off with this one. Okay, stop sticking to everything. My goodness me. That's better. Much better. I feel 
like it's still sticky though. I'm back um, I've tried to clean up and um, I still have gold flakes in places um, yeah anyway <laughs> right so I love how the stenciling came out now it's just going to be a matter of putting my photos down and then adding the embellishments and it's going to be very very simple this page because sometimes you know you feel like you need to add a lot to a page, but you don't really. And I've fallen into that trap where I need to put lots on a page. Um, but it actually detracts from the photos in a lot of ways. All right, so my foiling, it was semi-successful. Took me a while, as you saw, to get the photos, the photos, to get the flowers right. Some of the first ones that I did I just had these big splotches until I worked out how I really wanted them to look. So then I went back into them and added um, the streaks that I was doing. And the later ones, like I think this one and this one, um, came out I think a lot nicer. So I'm going to try and use those ones more than the others. And same with the, the leaves. Um, once I worked out that I wanted just a little bit in the middle, see so ones like that look a lot better than that was like one of the first ones where it was just a bit of a mess. Anyway, so now I am just going to pop on the doily, I think they are, and I'm going to pick out my nicest flowers. I want one there. My heading is here possibly want a doily there and then a flower pick out some of the nicer leaves so if you've used that gold flake before doesn't have to be stamp up brand I'm sure other 
Oops, manufacturers have it as well. Um, and you've got some hints and tips for me on how to use it better. Please uh, pop them in the comments below because I really, I'd like to keep using it because it's fun and it just, um, very messy. I've got to get over the messy. <laughs> um, but it, it just adds something really different. And now I don't know what flowers I want. <laughs> I don't want to cover up that rose because that is going to be part of, of my journaling that's going to be on the back is going to be telling the story of that as well those flowers from probably sounds very morbid from the caskets <laughs> but um i did the same for my parents when they passed um i kept i might only do one i kept some flowers of theirs and dried them as well and they are in another oh they're actually in a, like a little oops oh my gosh they're in a little do i have a flower yes it's stuck to me I've probably got gold all over my arm now. Oh, they're in a little vase thing. So, all right, I'm going to just stick. So, like I've said before, I'm not one for fussing too much with embellishments, overthinking it. Um, I just need another one. I don't know. I think I only want one flower up there in each of them. Yeah. I'm happy with this. I probably won't be tomorrow. I'll, you know, revisit the page or have a look at it and go, oh, I really don't like that. You should have done this and you should have done that. But, you know, at the time, you think it's okay. All right, so I want that flower. There you are. And I'm actually going to put two. Oh gosh, there's more gold. Now it's on me glue. I'm going to put a leaf up here. Oh, look, there's a gold fleck there. Oh, it's everywhere. And it's okay that they, the leaves are on the photo oh no oh it's come off yay right let's get you down look at that oh. i hope it doesn't all come off on the page protector but maybe i should have used that seal and Whatever it's called. I can't even remember what it was called. It's like embossing powder. But um, maybe the gold leaf would stick to that better. I don't know. And with this glue, you only need a little bit of it, like a tiny bit. So a lot of people who don't like this glue, when I was doing card classes, um, I'd see people put such a big amount of glue on and they'd end up with it everywhere, leaking everywhere and in a right roll mess. A little bit goes a long way with this glue. Right, none of this is stuck down, is it? No. Okay. Really? I don't normally like doing clusters all the same, but sometimes I can't think of something else to use. Like, I don't like that they're all the same, but... Never mind. And uh, if you've watched any of my recent previous videos, uh, you would have heard me say that I'm doing the 31 days of cut piles, which I'm still going to do, but I'm considering changing it slightly and doing 
like maybe doing them off camera and then just coming back for a layout share after about four or five or something because I think what, what I'm finding is doing several layouts a day and filming them I'm getting a little bit um, not overwhelmed but my mojo is starting to lack like I don't have as much um, imagination for my layouts because I feel like I've got to do everything so quickly um, and get everything done. That's not a C. Where's a C? I thought there was a C. That is a C. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, I feel like I've just got to do everything in such a time crunch that I'm not actually um, doing the layouts justice. So it's um, causing me a little bit of grief. I was going to do all capitals for Cherub Love, but I might do, because I don't have a capital B, so I might just do little, and now I haven't checked that I have all the right letters in lowercase. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Oh, come on, I need you to not do that. Thank you. I was going to pull up the paper as well. C E R. So now I am going to be so glittery because I'm probably going to get the glitter off these letters as well as the gold foiling. You. And B. Is that straight? Probably not, but you all know me. If it's if it's nothing's crooked, then it's not my layout. Always got to be something crooked. Oh, oh, oh. My wedding was actually themed cherubs as well. I went, I remember going to several um, invitation places to find invitations. None of them had cherubs. So I was walking through Big W or Kmart or something one day and I was with mum and I went, oh, let's just go have a look at the invitations. Like that's when you used to get the box set. It was, wasn't a proper folded invitation like a printed. It was printed, but it was just like a um, A4 paper that you fold up into the envelope. Um, and they had one, a box set that had cherub themed, and it was the invitation, the RSVP, um, thank you notes to send out, the envelopes, the whole thing. And I went, okay, that's what I'm doing. Cost me like $16 or something. And I was looking at hundreds of dollars for printed invitations. And I went, yep, that is perfect. That is what they're going to be. <laughs> so yeah, everything was cherub. Sorry, this makes a farty noise, this bottle. Hear that? <laughs> Let's just say it's a kissy noise. Noise. There we go. <laughs> Is that it? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That is it. All right, there is my black, blue, and gold layout. So I've got the black in the stenciling, the blue in the doilies and the flowers, and the gold in the gold foiling, and my gold enamel dots. really really like it make sure you check out the playlist below for everyone else who is playing along and if you have enjoyed this layout and this video then hit that thumbs up for me if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing hitting that notify bell so you know when my next video comes out thank you so much for watching 
and have a scrap happy day. Bye-bye.